cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are those rays which are residual particular radiations. What is residual particle or radiations? Okay, definition. Cosmic rays are high energy charge particles which are continuously entering into the boundaries of Earth atmosphere in all directions. These are called the cosmic rays. Cosmic rays are high energy. charge particle cosmic rays are high energy charge particles number two cosmic rays are highly penetrating radiations highly penetrating radiations in simply, the definition is cosmic rays are highly penetrating radiations which are coming from the outer interstellar space and just strike into the boundaries of our Earth atmosphere in all direction. These cosmic rays are the very high energy charge particles. So its types, number one is the primary cosmic rays, primary cosmic rays and next one is secondary cosmic rays. Secondary cosmic rays. What are the primary cosmic rays? We know that the primary cosmic rays is simply the radiations just fall or strike on the hot atmosphere. These are the primary cosmic rays. And one important point is that the primary cosmic ray consists of 92% proton, 92% proton, and Number two is seven percent is alpha particle, and number three is one percent is heavy nuclei. Also, remember that primary cosmic rays are the highly charged particles the charge number z up to 40 all are the cosmic rays that means primary cosmic rays what is the secondary cosmic rays secondary cosmic ray means the rays which are interact with the molecules in the outer stellar space in i mean the molecules are constituent particles in the uh, atmosphere of earth and then they are uh, they and this nature will be changes and nature will be changes and then fall into the boundaries of earth atmosphere these are called the secondary cosmic rays and origin of the cosmic rays and origin of the cosmic rays Origin of the cosmic rays, the most one important point is the explosion theory. According to the explosion theory, the universe was started with the Big Bang. The universe was started with the Big Bang. That is, at that time, at the time of Big Bang, the whole mass of universe was concentrated in a single nucleus. The whole mass of universe is concentrated in a single nucleus and 
which exploded forming the galaxies during this explosion the great amount of radiation was formed so the proton and other nuclei so the proton and other nuclei were spirits proton and other nuclei spread out in all direction with all energies and sufficient numbers so the simply the cosmic rays are the residual and the radiations left out from the big bang explosion okay according to the big bang explosion we can say that the at the at the time of big bang explosion the whole mass of universe jitne mass of universe hai na wo ek confined nucleus mein confined ho jati hai i mean the whole mass of universe was concentrated in a single nucleus at the time the great amount of radiation was formed number 2 is the origin from the sun origin from the sun where what is the origin from the sun what is the concept at that time at the uh, at that time of solar activity at that time of solar activity like nuclear fission or fusion reaction like nuclear fission or fusion reaction violent eruption and ionized gas shoot out from the sun violent eruption and ionized gas shoot out from the sun that is some of the proton in the sun some of the proton in the sun acquire very high energies and thrown out into the interplanetary space number 3 is the origin from the cosmic rays according to this view or concept the cosmic rays come from so called the cosmic rays i mean the cosmic rays come from the cosmic rays star okay which are more active than the sun and the binary star and supernova star or uh, variable star have included in a galaxies about the 10 to the power 11 star 